The Our Father Thrice Told. It is Monday, March the 30th, 2020. I don't want to call the following translations of the Our Father. I've tried to be faithful to the underlying spiritual truths of this number one Christian prayer. But I have inserted different words and images between the reader and these truths. Of course, in changing the verbal surface of the prayer, I have unavoidably colored, oriented, specifically directed and focused the prayer in my own way. Thus, I could call the following not translations, but interpretations of the Our Father. For example, we know the first petition of the prayer, Our Father, who art in heaven. In the first version or interpretation to follow, I reconfigured the line as Father of all, who watch over all. Thus, I emphasized about the title, Our Father, its potentially universal scope, saying, Father of all. And I tried to capture the phrase, who art in heaven, by shifting from the image of the Father being in a place, heaven, to one of the Father performing an action, watching over all. Yet one could claim that the two mean pretty much the same thing. So, to the poem. One, the Our Father thrice told. One, Father of all who watch over all. Though your name catches in our throats whenever we call to you, yet you are near to us, we know, and gladness fills our days. May sunlight fall gently upon the earth, may thick grass obediently spring up. You have given us the need of bread. Give us fields to till, harvests to reap. We sin as do our, do our comrades, yet we place no retribution upon you, yet we place no retribution upon them, praying that you too place no retribution upon us. Help us walk uprightly, never proudly. And since our souls are weak and sheltered, protect us from summer's heavy heat and winter's bitter cold. Two, Father, your loveliness is beyond measure, showering unnumbered riches upon us. Let us sit today beneath your fig tree, conversing of your hopes for us. Let our hearts tremble, our souls sail upward. upward. How like trusting deer we come each day to feed from your hand. When in shame our spirits sink before you, look kindly upon us. For we too look kindly on, on all whose spirits sink in shame before us. And never forsake us, we pray, no matter where the world may take us. For deep in our hearts we know that there is no saving God but you. Three. Holy Father, transcending all things maker of the world to come. Your words bestow silence and peace. We hear them and our minds soar within. Give us knowledge, let it linger long, stretching out before us, leading us to where you would have us go. You feed us with your manna that falls freely like grain before geese, yet how we flourish even to fullness. 
Mercy awaits us, if only we would step forth from the forest's gloom into your sunlit meadow. Then, as we journey on, let our path be always through forgiveness. May the devouring beasts know fear of us and run quickly away. <laughs>